It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Weltenberger Kloster and it's the Barrack Dunkel. It's won a gold medal at the World Beer Cup. It's coming in at 4.7% ABV in a 500 milliliter bottle. There's the label, there's the bottle cap. Without further ado, let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening, beer in the glass then. I'd like to say a massive thank you to Stephen in Germany. Thank you very much Stephen again for a massive, massive parcel of beer and a massive parcel of food, which we're nearly there. I showed you the other day the last two beers. These are the last two beers we're gonna be reviewing today. And not released today, but reviewed today. So the other beer we're gonna be doing is a Doppelhirsch by Private Brewery Hoss. This is a four, three finger, slightly off white head. Good levels of carbonation. A mahogany colored, clear looking beer. Before I get the aroma, I wanna say that you can look for the Doppelhirsch in a separate review. I don't, I'm not doing it at the same time. It'll be a separate review, but I just do two beer reviews at the same time or in the same sitting, should I say, to help save me some time. Aroma. Smells good, really good. Malty, biscuity, bready. A nuttiness coming through. Like brown bread. Smells absolutely fantastic. Certain caramel notes coming through. That definitive, that defining kind of German yeast. And it's hoppy and kind of peppery and spicy. Let's dive in. Cheers. Oh yeah. Nice carbonation, hisses and fizzes and pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth, releasing more of that flavor. The flavor, yeah, it's caramel. It's a little bit of kind of burnt toast going on. A nuttiness, a breadiness, a biscuitiness. It's a very kind of malt forward beer. But then when you work your way through them hops, sorry, that was my next installment, <laughs> my next thought. When you work your, three, well, your way through the malt, then you get to the hops, there we are. You get to the hops and that's the balance of the beer. You've got the, the sweetness of the malt over there, the bitterness of the hops over there, and it helps to balance the beer. It helps to balance that initial sweetness off with some nice bitterness. If you're new to beer, it's a little bit like sweet and sour sauce from a Chinese shop where, uh, a Chinese takeaway where they, they balance the, the, the different kind of sweetnesses with the sours. Quite similar with beer. I, 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 would, I would imagine that they probably borrowed the idea from beer, sweet and sour sauce. Um, I definitely reckon that because you've got the sweetness of the beer, the bitterness of the beer, balancing it off. I reckon they stole that. <laughs> Stinging that on. Spiciness, pepperiness. It's good. It's really good. Malty, bready, biscuity. I like the mouthfeel. It's a slightly creamy mouthfeel at 4.7% ABV. 
all around a really good beer as you can tell I've drunk it quite quickly I've just smashed some I, I some of you might notice if I hold that I can feel it but you can't quite see it I'm really conscious of the fact my hands shaking it's not though I've just done a load of exercise and a lot of weight training and I'm quite weak I'm quite like but I find the best way to revitalize from a, from a big session on the weights is is a beer so I'm a bit weak I'm a bit aching and, and and I'm holding the beer out and I can feel tiny little spasms in my fingers but it doesn't look like too much is going on at least I know now that um, I probably shouldn't have ever mentioned it <laughs> it's gonna start a lot of internet talk about the real ale guide shaky hands terrific beer really terrific beer spicy peppery nettily hoppy bitter on the back end loads of malty biscuity grainy terrific flavors at the beginning of the beer yeah it's wonderful that i've really enjoyed the beers from veltenberger kloster um stephen has sent me quite a few of them um, i've had a few from my channel sponsor um years ago i always remember liking them enjoying them probably reviewed quite a lot of their beer now which i'm happy about i'm just wondering if they do a a, a, a normal vice beer um to veltenberger kloster i imagine they do and I imagine if I dig through my portfolio of videos on YouTube, I imagine I'll find it um, that I've reviewed it. Let's, oh, we have some English, malted barley, hops on water and yeast. I like that. I like all these brewery, this, this brewery's beers. I think they make some terrific stuff. It's not New World or anything like that. It's not New World beer. It's not kind of like like massively hop forward it's more of a traditional brew but these beers have been around a long time for a reason there's a reason they're staple beers they're always beers that are brewed and that's because they're really good they're really tasty and they're reliable they're beers that you can go yeah i, I know i want that beer i want something sweet today or you know it's always going to be there so i like it enough i like it enough to give it a stone the crows I can leave it an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.